Hi everybody, if I look impressed, is it because I've been standing here for the last five minutes waiting for David to figure out how to use the camera, which he bought two months ago and promised that he would figure it out. But no, not David. Typical male. Why read something when you can figure it out eventually? Anyway, let's talk about what's really important here. And of course, that's our next auction, which is on the 1st of September. The viewing is on Saturday, the 30th of August, between 11 and 4 p.m. On Monday, of course, the 1st, between 12 and 6, the auction starts at 6 until finished. No, 6.30. Oh, 6.30. <laughs> when you do this without a script, you can't get it all right. <laughs> anyway, well, you know, she's a famous actress. <laughs> yes. Anyway. So I'm just here to point out a few highlights that, that I think are absolutely stunning. I'm waiting. Uh, first of all, I'll start with all the wonderful uh, Aboriginal artworks. We have a huge collection. David, they will see it as we move around the room. David, do not wave the camera around. I heard you. Okay, so as we meander through the room, you will see a huge number of assorted artworks. Some are on canvas, others are on bark. They're all by Australian uh, Aboriginal artists, and they're mainly from up north. Uh, uh, whose Queensland. collection is it? It is. Thanks, David. Oh. Do I have that? No. Anyway, it's... it is the Michael Morgan collection. Michael Morgan is a gentleman from Tasmania. We also have a collection of David's favourite things from a gentleman in South Australia who does not want to be named. Now, I didn't know that there were actually two major collectors. I thought David was the only one, but apparently I'm wrong. And um, most of these pieces, I think all of them, except the little fishy over here, came from this collection. And um, he shall re uh, remain nameless. Now, the things I like... Who, who are the pieces by? David, shut up. <laughs> Hagenauer, Anza Gruber, Ravelli, etc. Am I five years old? You need to pose questions. No, nah, just in case me. people don't well, know. Well, they need to read the catalogue, okay? Mm -hmm. If you read the catalogue, you will find out what, what is Richard Rower, what is Hagenauer, what is Anza Gruber. They all vary. There were quite a lot of makers of these um, lovely Nubians. Down here are the things that fascinate me more uh, than anything is a lovely assortment of boxes. And down further still, we have some lovely Russian icons from an estate in Emerald. We've sold their things over the last couple of auctions. And in this one, we have some Russian icons. Over here uh, is a, a absolutely stunning uh, pair of uh, Clara jugs. They're um, silver mounted with um, crystal bases. German Art Nouveau. German Art Nouveau. This is also German. WMF. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk anymore no, because don't <laughs> in the 26 years we've been together, David has never, ever, ever allowed me to finish a single <laughs> sentence. You know, when your children are little, they interrupt you all the time. Are you but me? they grow, me? they what grow out of me? it. They grow out of are it. You? But David doesn't grow out of anything. Show me how you've been filming me. You've been filming me. Hopefully decapitated. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, it's a bad week for it. Sorry. Don't yeah. Talk about it. Okay. No. Sorry. Okay. okay. What do you want me to talk about? Well, I don't interrupt. I'm lost for word <laughs> for about three seconds. Let's talk about the ivory in the auction. We've got a wonderful collection of uh, Chinese and Japanese ivory from three different estates. Uh, some of it's from the uh, Sands Estate. Uh, some of it from another collection and one of it from another estate. And the Satsuma we've got in the auction. Uh, this is from the Sands Estate, if you walk this way. <laughs> the, uh, Canton, uh, these a magnificent pair of uh, 19th century Cantonese exhibition vases. That's also the candelabra and the uh, mirror base is from the same estate. The estate of Francis Sands, big collector from Elston, we collected for many years. Um, along this section, there's more uh, Aboriginal art, of course, you can see that. And I just want to walk around this way, if you want to follow me around the room. Good collection of uh, antique tools, uh, hand planes. Lately we've been getting a lot of antique tools in and they're doing uh, very well. People are collecting them. And these are quite, are, are quite rare. A couple of rare ones in there. 
we'll walk this way and I'll show you some of the antique furniture we've got in the auction room and the retro furniture. Uh, we've got a wonderful set of 1958-59 Decker of Norway land suite, uh, coffee table, which is over there, lamp tables, wonderful set in excellent condition. Do you like that, Mandy? I do. I, I like the black chair the best. That's the one that hasn't been reupholstered. The red is. has been reupholstered. Yeah, but it's still been nicely done. I didn't say it hadn't, but I like things original. And this is something you like. I know you mentioned it to me before. Oh, the sweet little uh, box. But uh, I, uh, initially, I'm going to talk about the Art Deco oh. chest of drawers. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very nice. The original uh, phenolic and uh, chrome handles. It's a nice oh. one. And they are very rare Art Deco chests of they drawers. Are. Of course, you want to have a look at this box. This writing box. Fully fitted interior. It's a stunner. Uh, was this from the Sam Sands. Uh, Francis Sands estate? The ivory bits in there as well. Beautiful box. I thought you were going to show them the teeny weeny little box and the stove in the uh, cabinet there. Well, if you can pick it up, I'll show it. This little silver miniature stove and kettle. What is it, Japanese? Um, I was told it's Chinese, but I believe it's more Japanese from the 1950s, but, or maybe even earlier. But it's a wonderful little thing. They don't come up that often. And they show us the little box. Which box are we talking about? The little round box down there. The little one? Yeah, oh, which this... I think is really sweet. Oh, this is stunning. Because that has tortoiseshell inside. Yeah, this is a, a Georgian box inlaid uh, with straw and tortoiseshell. That's gorgeous. And look at the wonderful condition of it. It's really nice. It is. It's a stunner. I love little things like that. They don't always survive, but to survive in that condition is wonderful. That chest is superb. That's from the Sands Estate as well. That's also a couple of them. One there, a cedar one there, and one right behind you. Just along there. Watch, watch the couch. <laughs> you know Who that? put that there? <laughs> But I wanted to show you something that I think is absolutely wonderful in the auction. If Not that hideous sideboard! No, don't. Please. People might be watching. <laughs> might be. That's the operative. This has come in late. It came in uh, just yesterday. And look at the condition. This is from a, a property in North Borwin. And these are dated from 1862. Sort of Anglo-Indian style, but they are English. Um, candelabra and matching pair of garniture they have got elephant decorated bases gargoyles along the side this is just stunning for something Victorian it's absolutely wonderful condition and one of the rarest items we've had in the auction for a long time is this Marcel Brewer or Marcel Marcel uh, Paris 925 exhibition uh, lamp it's plated and these very rarely come up the last one that came up was uh, sold for around about six and a half thousand dollars this one's got an estimate of five to eight hundred dollars you want to have a look at the art glass we'll have a look we'll walk this way have a look at the art glass in the auction room as well big collection of Murano Vanini glass in the auction room all in excellent condition and all priced to sell no reserves on these the owner wants them sold they're a bit hard to see in the sun the ones up there if you show me you can't see the ones up the top there the massive big pieces are about 50 centimeters high well david that? i guess they will have to no can't the sun's it? too strong i guess they're just going to have to come into the auction i think so. is there something really rare just in there the compass oh, yes. Yes, yes, we should show that one. And it, this is from a, a which estate? The a. South v, Yarra. The A. V. Smith estate, who was a politician in the uh, Balti uh, Parliament. I think he was a member for Bar, uh, South Barwon or something, or Geelong. Uh, a. V. Smith from South Yarra. It's his There's estate. quite a number of uh, There's about but... 50 items from his estate in the auction, too. Uh, this compass is dated from 1807, belonged to Thomas Nolan. 
and it's made by Walker and Sons Dublin 1807 Compass so there's lots of interesting things there's a lot of estate jewellery in the auction uh, fr uh, from a collection She's in lovely. Berwick that's Art Nouveau we sold that about 7-8 uh, years ago so that's a good thing that's come back to the auction room but there's a lot of interesting things in the auction. You've got to have a look at the catalogue. You have to have a look at all the photographs on the website. The viewing again for the auction will be on the Saturday, I think the 30th of August, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. On the Monday, the 1st of September, it'll be 12 noon to 6 p.m. The auction starts at 6.30. We want you all to come in and bid because there's a lot of potential bargain for you. But there's a lot of rare items in the auction. So have a look at the catalogue, have a look at the uh, website and come in to be viewing. We'll see you then. All the best. Bye.